video of a packed ICU unit at California's largest COVID-19 ward. Good evening. I'm Susie Sa in tonight for Pat Harvey. Thank you so much for joining us on this Tuesday night. I'm Jeff Vaughn. Well, tonight there are more Californians with COVID-19 in hospitals than any time during this pandemic, more than 10,000. The number of frontline workers contracting the virus is surging right now. CBS 2's Brittany Hopper spoke to an emergency room nurse at UCLA about her firsthand experience battling COVID-19. Hospitals across California are stressed to the limit, treating more COVID patients tonight than ever before. It's really, really concerning, and um, it's tough to be a healthcare worker right now. I have to tell you, it's really tough. Marcia Santini is an ER nurse at UCLA Medical Center. She tells us it's been overwhelming to say the least. She says just today she found out one of her colleagues died after contracting COVID. As much as I love taking care of patients, and that's what my calling was, I didn't sign up for this. I didn't sign up to bring it home to my family. I didn't sign up for getting sick myself and potentially leaving my children motherless. In LA County, 1,745 healthcare workers were infected last week, an all-time record, and more than double the week before. At LA County USC Medical Center, which has the largest COVID ward in Southern California, new video tonight inside the packed ICU. In one room, doctors desperately trying to save a person in distress, while in another room, a patient unconscious on a ventilator with a nurse holding his hand. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Brad Spellberg pleading with people to follow health orders. We are learning of similar surges at hospitals throughout Southern California. Healthcare officials expect the next three weeks to be our most critical yet in this pandemic. Across California, hospitalizations have increased 71% in just two weeks. There's so many lonely people that are out there dying and by themselves, and it's all for the selfishness. Health officials warn if we continue to see the rise in cases, the three week stay at home order could turn into six to nine weeks. I'm Brittany Hopper, CBS 2 News.